The hearse has just arrived outside the pub. And your Debbie's home for dinner. No, she's not. Yes, she is. I just saw her letting herself into the house. I better go and see. You can't just leave. I won't be long. Thing is, we don't know how many of his Leeds pals will turn up. So just make sure there's plenty of quiche and sandwiches. Right. What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just I'm knackered. You're not sicking in for something, are you? No, I just I need a rest. Well, today's not the day. Ready? Where's David? He'll be down in a minute. How are you feeling? I'll be glad when it's over. Oh, pet. I keep getting flashes of the two of you together. When he first offered you the money for the pub, you couldn't believe it. Neither of us could. Please, Diane, not now. I know. I'd have done anything to have spared you this. Has something happened? You didn't have a row with someone, did you? No. Just felt like an afternoon, huh? But you can't just walk out of school any time you feel like it. Well, Mum used to let me. Why are you staying with Paddy and me? You go to school. I mean it. When you finish that sandwich, I'm taking you right back. Terry's not planning to walk behind the hearse, is he? I shouldn't think so. We'll see you at the church, Terry. from Las Vegas this morning. Who do you know in Vegas? My friend Gemma from school. She got married. What, in Vegas? Yeah. It's all right for some. She said the weather's been fantastic. They've been out to the desert and everything. Do you know what? That's what we need, me and you. What, a wedding in Vegas? What? No, 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 no. A holiday, a, a winter break. Right, after I finish this lot, I'm going to go into one and pick up some travel brochures. Could always find out about... Hello. Can we have some service out here, please? We need to discuss this, Marlon. Don't go booking anything yet, right? Oh, good. Charity said you might come. Did she? I understand you might want your job back. Maybe. Depends. Oh, don't tell me you're playing hard to get. No, but if I do come back, I want to be clear about something. If you want strong-arm tactics with the likes of Wilf, I'm not your man. Jack, believe me, I never wanted to drive the man to suicide. Well, you were the one demanding the back rent. Yeah, all right. Point taken. So, are you coming back? Good. Because I don't want to lose you. You're a good manager. In fact, I was thinking, you're not far off a year since you started. You're probably about due a pay rise. So, how about another 300 a month? How can you afford to pay me another 300 a month when you can't afford to waive Wilf Butler's rent? Well, you could always pass it on to him. You can even backdate it if you like. There's no need for that. But you're not saying no to the pay rise? No, of course not. Thanks. You can start again tomorrow. resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Well, if you don't think we should leave her on her own, then I'm going to have to get them to the hotel, you know, cancel the booking. You don't have to cancel any arrangements on my account. Well, it's only a business convention. It couldn't matter less. It's not what you said earlier. So, we look, we don't want to leave you on your own, not till you've had the baby. I'm fine. Listen, I know I made a fool of myself yesterday, but you don't have to keep me under 24-hour surveillance. Just go. You'll have to 
Would you excuse me, Mrs. Up? I've got to run Debbie into Otten. Oh, so you weren't ill then? I had a bit of a headache. No. Oh, well, you will have a headache by the time she's driven you back to Hotton. <laughs> I keep telling her I can get on the bus. There's nothing wrong with me driving. I'm getting better all the time. As long as I don't have to park. Well, don't take long. I'm planning to look in on the wake. And Emily. Yes? You do realise that I'm having to miss my lunch because of all this? Yes, I know, and I'm sorry, Mrs. Hart. Well, just so you know, I have noticed a big difference in your work since you started this fostering lark. Well, it can't be out, Mrs. Hart. See you later. It was the poet John Donne who said that no man is an island, every man is part of the main. And that is never more true than in a village like this. Ray had not lived among us for long, but in the short time he was with us, he made a lasting contribution to this community. Most of you probably know that it was Ray who converted this very building into the sacred place it is today. A generous man, a private man, a loving man. He will be sadly missed by his family and by his partner, Louise, with whom I know he shared a deep love. There you are. I see that you rushed off your feet, as usual. What can I get you? Oh, give me a cuppa. By the way, um, me and Chris, we are going to go to Carlisle after all. Right. So, we were wondering if you might keep an eye on Zoe for us. Keep an eye on her? Well, she has been ill, and she is eight months gone. Well, do I have to? Oh, well, I'm not asking you to perform the cesarean. Oh, I know that, but, well, you know we don't exactly get on. Well, I had noticed. So you'll do it, yeah? Blimey, Chloe, it's not much to ask. And how long have you been living there rent-free? Hmm? Yeah, all right. I think you can probably guess why I asked you to come in. If you're sacking me, you needn't bother. I'm leaving. Ah. I've got myself a better job over in Newcastle. Oh, good for you. Not that I won't be sorry to lose you. You don't need to pretend, Mr Tate. No, I mean it. You're a good worker. But it's obvious it's not going to work out between you and Jack. Not after what's happened. Oh, so that's it. He's been up here shafting me, has he? No, as a matter of fact, he didn't even mention you, which, given that you tried to... I only did what I thought was right. Quite. Well... Sorry it didn't work out. Best of luck. Sad day for you, Louise. Terribly totally sorry. Thanks, Eric. I won't be able to make the crematorium, but uh, I'll pop by the pub later for me. Not exactly crowded, the church. For one was supposed to be such a pillar of the community. Well, as Ashley said, he hadn't exactly lived here very long. Anyway, I expect the Leeds crowd will turn up at the crematorium. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. I'm such a fraud. I can't keep this up. Yes, you can. You're doing great. Oh, they all come up to me saying, "What a wonderful guy!" Oh, shit. Um, do you want me to come to the crematorium with you? No. Oh. It's hard enough with you watching me. Is she all right? Are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Both of you, please just leave me alone. They must be hard up then. You going half? Well, um, no, I've got a lot bowling. Well, I'll walk with you then. Yeah, okay. Oh, so do you like having him then? Bowling? Yeah, I do actually. It's company, you know, when the house is empty. Oh, my mum would have been there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've got a pet piglet. What? I've got a pet piglet. Oh, yeah, can it fly? <laughs> All right then, don't believe me. Well, at least we got rid of her. Well, do you really need to go up for bowling? No, I just didn't want her tagging along. <laughs> Good, because I really need to talk to you about something. I never knew he had a brother. 
Oh, he had more than one. Really? Big family, are you? There were five of us all together, all boys. Eldest was killed in a car crash. So with Ray gone, that just leaves three of us. And my dad. Do you want a sandwich? Here, get that down here. Make you feel better. Thanks. That's the brother. Is it? I have a word with him, then. <clears throat> Jack Sugden. Sorry we have to meet in such sad circumstances. These things happen. Oh, I don't suppose you've seen a lot of your brother these past few years, then, eh? No, not a great deal. Well, we couldn't let his funeral go by without one of us coming over. <laughs> you sure you're all right? Yes. Stop asking. How's it going? Oh, it's all right. Not many people here. What have you got there? Travel brochures, including... ka -ching! Las Vegas. Oh, well, if it's good enough for Gemma, then it's Marlon, good enough... put those away. Or at least take them through the back. Oh, sorry. So what's happening with the house, then? You getting it? Ray left it to her. So I suppose he must have thought a great deal of her. Well, we all know that. He did. I don't know what to make of that brother. How do you mean? Well, everything he says has a bit of a sneer to it. And I get the impression there wasn't much love lost between him and Ray. Then, of course, you had all that stalker business, didn't you? Has that calmed down now? Yes. Yes, it has. I found that very weird myself. Unless, of course, it was Ray they were trying to get at all along. Could have been. So where do you fit in? <laughs> How do you mean? Were you a friend of Ray's? Well, as much as anyone else. And Louise, of course. You know, it could have been Mac. He hasn't been seen for a while. I'll be back in a minute. I really don't think that this is the time to start speculating. It's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of this. Louise. Go away. Where are you going? Where are you going? I can't stand this a minute longer. Shoot, just calm down. I can't give up this pretense anymore, Terry. This... This huge secret. I've got to let it out. I've got, I've got to let it out in the open. Just, just, just tell me where you're going. To the police, of course. I'm sorry, I, I don't get it. Terry, Diane is in there. She's my best friend. She's got no idea what's going on. I can't live like this. Yeah, but I can't see how going to the police is going to help. Because I want them to know what happened. I want them to know what kind of sicko Ray really was. I want them to know that I did it. I did it. I killed him. All right. Look, just let me take you, eh? You're not in any fit to stay. No, I'll be all right there, I suppose. I mean, it's all right Danny living with you, doesn't it? Yeah, I just get a bit fed up of being the only female sometimes. Why? Um, washing, washing up, everything. Don't get done unless I do it. Uh-oh. <laughs> See? I told you I had a pig. Oh, it's quite <laughs> cute, really. Okay. What on earth do you think you're doing bringing a pig in here? <laughs> you don't know this is a cafe. <laughs> so? Pigs are really clean, Paddy said. Yeah, well, you try telling Viv that. Well, has it got a name? Yeah, but I bet you can't guess what it is. Um, Miss Piggy? <laughs> no, it's a bye. Uh, Mr Piggy? <laughs> Little Kane. What do you call it that for? No reason, just cos I like Kane. Something wrong with that. No, just... I won't call anything after that head case. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? I'm afraid the pork got out of the pie. Does Lisa know? Yeah. I'm going to ring her right now and ask her. All right, all right, she doesn't. Then you take it straight back. Poor little thing, it shouldn't be away from its mum. All right, all right. She said it was a pet. Did she? Actually, Emily, can I have a word? <laughs> yeah. She's only doing it to try and impress them. Well, it don't make it right. Oh, I know, but go easy on her, cos they do give her a bit of a hard time. You know, I never knew it was going to be like this. <sighs> Look, all I'm saying is that I think you might regret it. Your feelings are all over the place. I seem different tomorrow. Why? Well, why don't you wait and see? The trouble with spilling the beans is that you can never put them back. Dove knows anyway. 
Jared has made it blindingly obvious she thinks I got away with murder. Why do we have to lie in the first place? Panic. It's as much my fault as it was yours. I must have been mad. I'm not going to let you go to the place on your own. If you're going to confess, I'm coming with you. What good would that do? You didn't kill him. Neither did you. Yes, I did. I wanted him dead. Oh, look, if you do go to the police, whatever you do, don't say that. Why not? It's the truth. All right. You do realise that it won't be just you that gets done for this, whether I go or not. What do you mean? I lied for you. Charity lied for you. If you go spilling your guts, you're going to take both of us down with you. We'll all be done. Perverting the course of justice. So look, why don't you wait till the morning, eh? And if you still feel the same way, there's nothing to stop you going then. He's watching us. Who? David Mullen. All right, mate. Yes. Just wanted a breath of air. You all right? Yeah. Well, a bit cut up, like. We'll be back in in a minute. It's all right, you didn't hear anything. If you weren't lying, it wouldn't matter. All right. Yes, thanks. Never knew you had so much stuff. I've got three bags to go to the charity shop over there. Well, I told Chris I wouldn't be coming back. Yeah? I don't think he was that sorry to see me go. I've been thinking about you, your arrangements. Well, Dad, please don't start. Look, I'm not trying to get between you and Andy. It's not even the idea of you moving in with Jack. It's just... Well, I think you might like it better if you had your own space. Somewhere you could retreat to if things aren't going so well. Mm. All couples have their differences from time to time, you know. I'm not saying come with me. All I'm saying is maybe I could have a word with Diane. See if you could stop with her. Dad, he's my fiance. I want to live with him. What's Jack saying to him? Well, we haven't spoken to him yet. But he does know. Yes. Look, if you're that bothered, why don't you speak to him? I don't think that'd be such a good idea. Well, in that case, leave us to sort things out, eh? Chloe reckons she's just out to impress the others. Yeah, but well, she's still got no business sneaking up to the dingles and nicking a pig lap. Well, no, I'm done. I told her to take it. Hello? Hi. Uh... I hear you've been rustling pigs. What did Lisa say when you took it back? Nothing much. And what about the sow? What? The, the, the mother pig. They can get really nasty if they think that you're threatening the young. No, she was cool about it. I brought you the phone number of the hotel where we're going to be staying for the next couple of days. Oh, thank you. Chloe will be back soon and she's promised to keep an eye on you. Now, why on earth would I need Chloe? I'm perfectly OK and it's not due out for another two weeks. Well, then, I hope you've told it that. Cos they're not known for sticking to the due date, Zoe. <sighs> All this fuss because I panicked yesterday. Yeah, but even if you hadn't, you could go into labour at any time. You should know. You're a vet, remember? How did his mother die? Car crash. Not been that long ago, was it? No. Um, it's just that, well, she looked that upset about it. <coughs> what the? It's a pig! You said you'd taken it back! <coughs> yeah, well, I haven't, and I'm not going to. Little Kane's the only good thing I've got in my life, and I'm never taking him back, so there. Hey! 
You take him back now. No. Yes. No. Yes. Why don't I phone Lisa? You never know. She might let us keep it overnight. For Lisa to find out it's even here, it'd be a start. Thanks. It's all right. Don't know why you put up with me. Don't you? Look, you will get through this, even if you never go to the police. Will I? Yeah. You're nearly there already. You've just got to keep at the front of your mind that Ray was a nutcase. He was after you when he fell. You just got to pack in the guilt. I can't just pack in the guilt. Of course you can. Loads of people can. Ray Mullin would have. I don't know how to. Yes, you do. Like you turned a blind eye when you didn't really want to know what Ray was up to. You just got to seal it off. Don't go there. Get on with your life. By the way, I'm not going to be able to come out tomorrow night. Well, that'd be a good reason. Charity's got me looking after Zoe. Payback time. What? A pint of lager and a spritzer, please, Trisha. Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute. Where's Louise? She's been gone a while now. Everyone's getting a bit worried. Oh, is she all right, Terry? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. She's just doing her makeup. Bye, please, Trisha. Thought you'd have been here sooner. And why is that? You're quite thick with Ray Mallon at one time, weren't you? Right, who was next? Uh, that was me. No, I think it was me. Uh... Scott, what can I get you? What are you doing there? Are you all right? Yeah. Sorry I disappeared. Just got a bit much for me, that's all. Are you sure you're all right behind there? Diane, I'm fine. I've had a good cry, and I'm feeling much better. 